Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show some of the, of the advantages of advanced steel over Revit. They are both out of the software and uh, what I've been doing for my projects that involve um, steel detailing is I'm doing the concept in Revit and then using the extension, the Revit extension to move the file into advanced steel for um, to do connections. Um, in 2017, if I'm right, um, Revit created um, a new menu, a new um, option of uh, creating the steel connections within the um, Revit structure here. Revit structure menu, so we have connections here. Yes, this is possible to do in Revit, but uh, I still prefer advanced steel for, um, especially for the efficiency that you can achieve with documents, creating documents, and that's basically what I would be showing here. So for this purpose, we got the same model in both advanced steel and Revit. So we have this here, and we have exactly the same model in advanced steel. So the first thing that I see a difference is the um, visual interface. So we see that advanced steel presents a more um, standard sort of look. Um, the edges are not as um, well um, nice as you can see in uh, Revit. It's more sort of an AutoCAD look while Revit uh, presents a more realistic sort of view, edges are, you know, a lot more soft and um, for presentation purposes, for concept, for a proposal, this one, uh, Revit presents a better look. But okay, so now we're gonna um, focus on the document. So for example, we have this um, structure this at the bottom is one assembly, and then we have these um, um, members here, like a tower that presents a different assembly. So if we wanted to do a uh, drawings of this um, of this um, structure in Revit, the first step that we do is uh, we go to the elevation view. In this case, hundred days. And then um, we need to uh, sort of tidy up this view um, to put it on a title block. So for now, I'm just going to hide all the uh, section views that I don't need. OK, um, that's done. Now I'm going to hide uh, the coordinate system. I don't want to see that in my um, presentation sheet. And then um, we have to create a cut, like a crop view, so we don't see like the entire scene, like for example, this line and things like that. So just create the corp, create and um, sort of cut the window or extend the window of our crop view. And then just like we did here and here, we need to start creating some dimensions so uh, in walls, you can do sort of um, semi-automatic dimensions, but uh, I haven't seen in a structural that uh, Revit actually offer me like the possibility of doing um, automatic. Like in walls, you can just go here to, um, um, sorry. So this, um, yeah, with walls you can do automatic dimensions using here options, like auto dimension, but uh, not for the structure. So basically, if you want these dimensions for fabrication, say for example, for each member, then you just have to like, do sort of a string dimension. So from the end of uh, the square hollow section to these two members, to this other member, and then, yeah, start dimensioning the whole thing, right? And then um, that's a good dimensions for um, manufacturing, 
but then for sorry for assembly for, but then for the cut length of this member for example you might have to do different dimensions and then also for this area here like you have to detail dimensions now once you have this ready you might want to see some more details like for example like a section a cut across I don't know this beam so you have to create it uh, or for example like a call, a call out for say this connection um, and then once so you have this ready you can now select this floor plan and put it in a sheet